Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk with another quick tutorial. If you're here, you must have lost some data or you want to learn how to recover data. Um, and PhotoRock is a, a very good application and works with so many different operating systems and different media devices. So if you lost data, um, give this free application. And I emphasize the word, this is free. So um, all those other ones, they're going to they're gonna let you scan and they're going to show you that they found your data, but more times than not, they're going to actually charge you in the end to, to recover. So if you look down here, you're going to see that it works with DOS, Windows, Linux, um, Mac OS X, and um, the, all the different partitions that come with it, the FAT, MTFS, the X2, which is the Linux based, um, all these different media devices, you'll, you'll see that they have a list of cameras that they've already tested that they guarantee these, you know, I don't know if they guarantee, but these are, these have um, had successful tests. Um, it works with all different types of memory sticks, um, but M.2s, MVMEs, um, you know, any, any type of memory card you can take from your camera, um, your phone, if you can plug it into your computer, this is the application to use. Um, now, keep in mind, if you have, let's just say you have an old um, mechanical drive and you plug it into your, because you're going to have to plug this into another computer so that you can connect your, your disk. So if you plug your, your media device in, say USB or your mechanical drive, if your mechanical drive doesn't get recognized by the operating system, this application is not going to see it either. Um, it's, you have to be able to power it up in order to, to uh, recover it. But if you have a partition or if you just accidentally deleted software or an XML file, an Excel file, um, you didn't mean to, this application, I almost guarantee you, will work to recover. So go ahead and read through it. I'll let you read through it. Um, it, it will recover like 280 file types, I think, um, or four, 480 file extensions. I'm sorry. Um, it, it's quite a bit. Um, and I've used this a few times, and it's been perfect every time. So go ahead and scroll down, click Download Test Disk, and you'll get a little ad pop up but don't worry about that and then just go ahead and select your operating system i'm on a windows 64 bit i'm going to click that and this next page it's literally just going to start the download for you and um depending on what browser you have um, you should see a little arrow up at the top where you can click and it should say test it test this 7.2 and then i'm going to click the file and I usually right click on the file, go to extract all, and then I'll browse my PC and you're gonna do the same thing. Browse, select the folder. Um, I'm going to select this Chrome OS and I'm gonna select the test um, folder. Once you've selected the folder, go ahead and hit, um, hit the select folder and hit extract and it will extract the application to that folder so the next thing we need to focus on is how we're going to go about running this application so what we need to do is figure out what drive you're trying to recover and in this case i'm going to give you an example um this is a test disk that i want to recover these two and i this is the picture, one of the pictures that I'm going to be deleting off of here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to hit format. And I'm going to leave it at FAT32. And I'm going to hit start. That's usually pretty quick. This is a fairly small USB. And you'll see now that um, there's there's nothing um there's nothing on this anymore so because i'm trying to recover this particular drive you you don't you can't you can't scan this disk and save to this disk so um and as you can see this thing is not even accessible anymore i can't even get to it so um 
that shows you that this disk is now damaged and the data that's on it is lost. So I'm going to go ahead and save to the C drive. So when I open this application, which we're going to do right now, let's go ahead and open up your test disk. Um, open up the folder that you just downloaded, and there's going to be two files in here. And I know this is a little bit long today, but um, I want to be thorough with this so that you completely understand what needs to be done. Because um, if you want to recover your data, the best bet is to just leave it alone and use this application as quick as you can. So there's two types of application here. There's a GUI um, and a non-GUI. So, for example, this is, I'm going to go this this is the um graphical the non-graphical user interface which is actually pretty easy to use too i'll um probably create a video on that at some point um but we're going to use the graphical user interface because that's a little bit more user friendly for um everybody even myself i'm not that big on the command prompt i mean even though i'm fairly proficient at it um so up here on the left hand side you're going to click disk and then you're going to select the disk that to make sure that you have the right disk. So I'm looking for the 31 gigabyte um, SAN disk. Now I'm going to select up here a full disk because we want to scan the whole disk. Um, and then down here you're going to see uh, our file formats. You're going to click on that. And what I'm going to do, you can leave this exactly the way it is. And as long as you have enough data on the drive that you're saving this to, you can scan this whole drive, but it's going to be a lot of data. So um, if you're just looking for an XML or a picture, I would hit the reset button here and just scroll down. So let's say if you're looking for an XML, I'm pretty sure it's in the list here. So just select XML or, you know, whatever you think the file type is. Um, what I'm going to do, do is show you um, how to find out what format you're looking for, just in case you don't know. So just right click the file and Windows 11, it kind of does this make show more. And then you hit properties. And right here, you'll see this is a PNG. So up here, I'm going to go and select PNG. And then I'm going to click OK, because that's the only thing I'm trying to recover on this disk. I don't care about anything else. And then I'm going to select Browse. And this is where it's important to make sure that you're picking a disk that is not the disk that you're scanning. So because I'm um, scanning the, um, the D drive, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to select this test file here. And I'm going to say select folder. So when it's done scanning, it's going to create um, a, a, a folder and it's going to put everything in there. So now, now I'm just going to hit search and this is going to take a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, pause this and I will come back just in just a few minutes. My friends, the scan is complete 100%. So now all we need to do is go to where we saved the, um, the file. In my case, I went to the Chrome OS X test, and you're going to be looking at that recup. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this to show you um, what this is to see if it's the one that we were. And that's it. That's um, that's the one. I don't think I showed you both of them, but I'll go ahead and open both of them to show you that they actually open. And uh, and that's it. So, and if you're wondering what these uh, video, these little pictures are, these are to my green screen, my Bliss green screen. So if you get a chance, check out um, my link to, to Bliss. Um, and I hope this helps. Um, if you uh, don't mind, leave a comment down below and let me know how this works for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.